children's scrap store, and I don't know quite why, but they've asked me to come shopping for sound. Definitely this way. <laughs> Hi! Is it one of you, John? I'm John. Hi. If you come over here. Something to study. How's Hello. you doing? Vicky? Vicky. Hi. How's you What's doing? going on? Well, this is the children's scrap store. Yeah. You come to this in the middle of Bristol. It's a supermarket full of junk. Fantastic. And so we've got some giant instruments here made out of drain pipes. I don't know if you'd like to ever go in here. Brilliant. What is, this is just a normal drain pipe. These are just pieces of drain pipe, yeah. Perhaps you'd like to come and have a look at the... Yes, please. ...gong pyramid over here, all uh, made out of hubcaps. Are these here, my... Here, some okay. sticks. You have I'll my have shoes? I'll have my flip back, thank you very much. And what, what's that one there? Well, I'll take your sticks off you. If okay. you want to come and have a little bash on the log xylophone over here, which Ian's been playing <laughs> for us. Hello. Oh, wonderful, they sound really hollow. It's just because they're dried out. They're actually branches from a, a woods up the road, in fact. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah. what's... The big idea with this, then. The Why big am idea. I here? Well, I've got a little box down here with a few smaller instruments because I didn't think you'd necessarily fit all these in your car. But we've got some homemade <laughs> instruments here, yeah. and we're going to have a look around the scrap store and see if we can find the materials for you to make some of your own. Oh. So if you'd like to come this way. And what Vicky doesn't know is that she's going to perform live on stage at a music festival in front of hundreds of people. It's easy to make a sound. All you have to do is make something vibrate. You could twang a string or a rubber band, or you could blow down something, or you could bang something together. Or you could scrape something. Or you could shake something. There are three families of musical instruments. This is one of them, strings. As you can see in this guitar, when you pluck the string, it vibrates. That vibration gets passed on to the air, and that's how you hear the sound. And here's another stringed instrument from India called a gopichan. The second family we're going to look at is wind instruments. These work by blowing into a tube and making the air inside vibrate. Listen to these panpipes. You can do the same thing with a horn. This instrument's called a balafon. It belongs to the last family of instruments called percussion. These produce vibrations when you bang them, and you can do exactly the same thing with a pair of bongos. We can see the bell is ringing as well as hear it. This close, the sound is quite loud. As we move away, the sound of the alarm gets quieter. So the distance affects how loud we hear the sound. As we move around the clock, we can still hear the alarm. So the sound travels out from the ringing bell in all directions. The vibration is moving through the air to reach our ears. Sound always needs something to move through. We can show this if we put the clock inside this special jar. At first, the ringing becomes quieter because the clock is now inside the jar. The air inside the jar can be pumped out. The gauge shows that with each pump, more and more air is being removed. Most of the air has now been pumped out. The bell is still ringing, but we can't hear it. As the air is allowed back in, the bell can be heard once again. This shows that sound vibrations need something to travel through. Here, it's air. 
You came here shopping for sound, Vicky. Yes. Over here, I have a shopping list in this trolley. I'd like you to go off all the way around the scrap store, find everything you can on the shopping list, and bring it back here, because you're going to make an instrument with it. First clue, 17 metres of nylon cord. Right. No, that's, that's electric wire. No. That's it. That's definitely it. Oh, I'll just take them off. OK, Ted, what do you got? Two plastic buckets. Well, I've got buckets. I've got plastic buckets. I've got just two plastic buckets. Start here. Two wooden rings slightly larger than the open end of the bucket. OK, OK. Rings. Nope. 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 Rings. Yes. Two rings. Right sides. Yes. Nylon cloth about this size. You can choose the colour. I think it's going to be blue. Yellow. I've got it. I've got oh, all well of done. it. Excellent. Some even, nice colours you've got there. Even a teddy. Even a teddy bear. Where am I going to make it? Well, we need somewhere where you've got all the proper tools, really. And yeah. I know just the place. Come with me. All right. I'm still very intrigued, though. You haven't told me exactly what I'm going to be making with all these bits. Well, when you walk through this door, you're going to get more of an idea of what we're doing. You're going to be making a talking drum. A what? A talking drum. Look, let me show you. I have to have one just... On well, I have to say, I was guessing that I was going to make bongos because of the two buckets. Well, you're very close, but talking drums can do something that bongos can't do. Listen to this. Wow. Wow, how are you doing that? What, do you want to have a go? Yeah, what, what's Take making that stick, turn? Why is it changing pitch? Well, you put that under your arm, okay. squeeze the strings. Squeezing the strings on the drum pulls the skin oh, tighter and so the pitch of the note rises. I'm going to make this. So I put it up here, and then bang, and then... Where's it actually from? It's from Mali in West Africa. It's great. Right, it's time to make one, Vicky. Come okay. on over here. On this board is a string which is fixed at one end and attached to some weights at the other. Listen to the sound the string makes when it's plucked. We can see that the string is vibrating to produce the sound. Now listen again after an extra weight is added. The string now produces a sound with a higher pitch. The weights pull the string so it becomes tighter and so vibrates faster when it's plucked. There are other ways of affecting the sound pitch of a string. These strings all have different lengths. The vibrating length of string is between the black strips of wood. The weight on each string is the same. The longer strings produce a lower pitch sound than the shorter strings. So the shorter length strings are vibrating faster than the longer lengths. All these strings are the same length and have the same weight attached. The difference this time is their thickness. The strings get thicker as we move across the board. The thinner strings produce a higher pitch sound than the thicker strings. This is because the thicker strings are heavier and don't vibrate as quickly as the thinner strings. Right, the first thing you need to do then yeah. is to make the shell for the drum. So what I suggest is you try bolting these two buckets together. You've got to get that shape, oh, the wasted that? shape. Like that. That's the one. Drill. Drill. Four bolts. Right, put that on there and bolt the two together. There's the last one nice and tight. Right, looks good. Yeah. 
And I now see where I'm going to put the nylon, here okay. and here. What we need to do before we do that is fix the nylon onto one of these hoops. Okay. Mark off every five centimetres all around here. Yeah, okay. Which is where you're going to drill the holes. Right. Hold it, so what I'm going to do is pull it tight so that you can get an even tension all over. It needs to be nice and tight when it's when you're finished. Over to you. Right, okay. Do not staple my hand. Come right. then, put it on top. Yeah. I'll put mine on the bottom. It's beginning to look like a drum, isn't it? Hmm. OK, last right. one. The very last hole. Tension is mounting, <laughs> literally, very I good. hope. <laughs> now what? Well, shall I just tie a knot in here to finish it off? That should do it. Well, I'll start loose, I think. Have you done much drumming before? No, nope, this is about it. I think what you need is some expert tuition. This is your next surprise. In here, I've got some tickets to a world music festival called WOMED. You're and you're going to go along to the festival and you're going to learn how to do some proper drumming with your new drum. My name is Evelyn Glenny and I'm a percussion player and I give solo concerts on percussion. Evelyn's had enormous success as a musician, in spite of the fact that she's deaf. During my teenage years, I had to find another way of experiencing music. And basically, I used my whole body to hear sounds. is a vibraphone. The reason it's called a vibraphone is that when I pop a little switch on, it actually gives us a wah-wah-wah effect. So it creates a much warmer sound. Now you can sense the duration of the notes. They last a long, long time. And this is wonderful for me because it means that I can actually receive the, the vibration of the impact, that is to stick onto the surface. But I can also feel the duration of the note. So I'm feeling that up here on my cheekbones, my scalp, down here, my chest. There are some instruments in the percussion family which have to be tuned for every single concert I give. I have a very small drum here, and the beauty about it is that in order to tune it, I just have to turn the whole drum like that, so that when I strike the drum, my hand is always on it, so I can actually receive the vibration through my hand. Now, each drum produces a different vibration. And if we go to the very lowest drum that I have here, now the wonderful thing about this drum is that I can actually see myself through the skin. Also, I can see the skin vibrate with the eye. That's very, very important because that helps me to realize how long the drum actually sustains. So let me just show you the difference in sound between all of the drums. So I'll play you a little thing. Actually performing. Well, there's dancers and musicians from all over the world come to the Wormer Festival. So it's, so it's international. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's where we've got to go actually, just through ah, there. Ah right, okay. Wow. Halan from Senegal in Africa are leading the drum workshop.
Now Taffer has a special challenge for Vicky. So Vicky, you know what? You're gonna play with us. Yes, nice. After a brief rehearsal, Vicky is to perform with them in their evening concert. Right, we've got an hour to go, and I really want to get this right. So can you help me perfect this beat in this song that we're doing? Yes. So is it very easy, you know? Yeah. You have just to listen to the song and the top, you know? You gotta do this. You, you, you try to do this. Them and it just felt as if it was part of me. You jumped up, you were dancing. It was along quite scary though, because I thought. Tell you, like, you know, dancing, so just head oh, <laughs> oh, Sorry about you. that. I'll tell you what though. What? I need a cup of tea. Yeah. Quick. Yeah, let's. Oh, that was great. Oh, 